Yo, what's up guys? Frank Daniels here. Today I am talking diets and I'm going to give you specifically the number one diet that is going to work for you and you and all you guys, okay? Everybody. And the number one diet for everybody, quite simply, is the one that you're going to stick to, okay? So the number one thing when it comes to dieting or better yet, creating a nutritional lifestyle, okay, that benefits you, something that you can do over the course of the long haul, okay, and continue with for the rest of your life, okay, is the diet that you're going to stick to. So the number one thing when it comes to diets is compliance, right, or adherence, compliance, right, adherence, basically, are you going to do that shit? And are you going to continue to do that shit? Now, this is the absolute best formula for everyone out there because it means that you're not going to quit, end up rebounding, and gaining the weight that you lost on your diet. So what we do want to understand is that most diets, a very, very high percentage of them, become failures. Okay, So they fail on people. And generally this is because, uh, for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it becomes a willpower, okay, so it becomes a just a brute force willpower thing instead of something that you just kind of gradually work yourself into and develop better habits as you go, right? So you're just forcing yourself to do it and it usually has a time frame, okay, four weeks, two months, three months, something of that nature. Anyone can kind of stick to something and brute force their way through these diet changes, these these habits that you got to do, that you have to create, um, you know, just follow the plan for three months. The big question is what happens when you come off that stuff. The other thing to understand about diets is that for the most part, most diets are successful because generally they just cut out some form of macronutrient. So they're either cutting carbs, they're uh, cutting fats, they might be cutting proteins, they might be cutting all three, they might be having you skip alcohol and, uh, you know, cleanses and detoxes are, you know, you're, you're drinking liquid for several days, um, detoxes, you might do the same and you cut out all these, you know, uh, dairy, whatever it is, it's asking you to cut out. Eventually, when you add that stuff back in, what happens? You end up rebounding. The other thing is, again, when you cut out all this, all these calories, of course you're going to lose weight. When you're on liquid cleanses for three days, you know, five days, 10 days, whatever it is, of course you're going to freaking lose weight. Okay, it's completely different than what you would normally do that you would normally comply to and, and adhere to over the long run. And when you add back in the stuff that you normally do because you're on that diet for four weeks, for, for two months, whatever it might be, when you add that stuff back in, you're just adding back the calories that you took out in the first place. And this is why most diets are failures. One, it's asking you to use brute force to be able to get through it. And two, they're just cutting stuff out that generally you're going to put back in in the long run. So the number one thing that's going to, you know, going to make you successful for a lifetime is compliance, adherence. Are you going to be able to do that? Here's another thing to understand about diets. Uh, and when we say compliance, adherence, and, and the reason I'm talking about some of this stuff is I've been watching some, some videos from Dr. Uh, Jade Tata, I believe his name is. Very smart guy, and he talks about adherence being the number one thing. So you got to be flexible. You need to be able to kind of enjoy the stuff that you're doing or else you're just not going to do it forever, right? Um, so I want to add to that because I think that leaves things open for interpretation. So I just want to add on to that. And I don't want to say that's incorrect, but I just want to add to it. So the other thing to understand about diets is that you are going zero to 100 miles an hour, okay, overnight. So that's that kind of brute force thing. So within adherence and compliance, again, like, are you enjoying what you're doing? You're probably not going to do something um, for that long if you're not somewhat enjoying yourself, right? So if you're just completely restricting yourself of all the foods that you enjoy to eat, okay, say you enjoy pizza, say you enjoy ice cream, and you're just never having that stuff because you're on a diet, chances are um, you're going to go back to old habits or at some point you're going to need that stuff. So is your diet flexible? Can you fit in these quote-unquote cheat foods so that you can enjoy yourself but kind of get back to doing uh, the good habits that are going to be able to support good overall fitness over the long haul, right? So normal diets, they go zero to 100 miles an hour. So if you're starting here where you just don't really have good nutrition at all, um, 
you're going here overnight. And then once again, of course you're gonna lose weight, but that's a brute force thing, right? You're gonna lose weight because you're either cutting stuff out that you're gonna add back in later, um, or you're asking yourself to take on too many new habits at once, okay, which is really hard to do when, uh, when it happens really fast and it's, and it's hard to do m longer than you can actually brute force your way through it. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So it's zero to 100 miles an hour overnight. Of course you're gonna lose weight. Of course you're gonna get in better shape because you changed 30 habits overnight, okay? Just because you're following the diet, but when you come off the diet, it ends up being a disaster, right? So ultimately the thing that wins out in the long run is can you have, can you build good nutritional habits that support your body, okay? Support your physical fitness and what you want to accomplish, as well as have some form of flexibility um, within that, right? So the reason I want to add to this flexibility thing is because that makes it seem like, um, you know, look, if I enjoy pizza and I enjoy ice cream, well, shoot, I should be having that stuff. And maybe I should be having that stuff all the time because, God forbid, I'm not enjoying myself, then I'm not going to have compliance or have adherence. But that doesn't work either, okay? So some of you guys that are on this side of the equation, and this is just a spectrum right here, some people eat McDonald's all day, and that's their nutrition. Okay, you're not going to get in better shape if your adherence and your, your flexibility lives too far on this side. Then on the flip side, you know, you have the grilled chicken and broccoli people who spend all their time over here, and that's, that's their, you know, three meals a day, and they drink water all day long, and that's, and that's what they do, and they're fine with that. So most people are somewhere in the middle here, you know, but ultimately the thing, once again, that wins out is you need flexibility. So if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to continue to do it. But that doesn't mean you can just hang out on this side and eat pizza and eat ice cream all day long. You still need to develop good habits as you go. So there's baseline things that most people um, should work within in terms of their nutrition. So, you know, high protein diets usually favor people who are training a lot. So that works. Helps your body get in better shape. It's going to support that. It's going to support um, satiety so you don't get as hungry as often. High protein, high fiber diets eating fruits and vegetables. Again, if you don't like that stuff and you're way over on this, we can say, okay, you have flexibility all day, so eat whatever you want, but you still got to move your ass down this scale a little bit. You know, you just can't sit down here and have flexibility because that's what makes you happy. It just doesn't work that way. So adherence, compliance, okay, being able to enjoy yourself from time to time is the most important factor. On the other side of that, you need to be able to develop habits, okay, that gets you more down to being on the whatever quote unquote you know really good nutrition is. You need to be down in this area more often than the others on the other side. Just because you're enjoying yourself and it gives you some flexibility doesn't mean you can hang out down here. Okay, you still gotta move your ass down here. And usually again, a diet takes you zero to a hundred miles an hour overnight. Okay? Being flexible and understanding that. Certain things that work for everybody don't necessarily work for you and being able to kind of change those things um, and, and be flexible enough to find a nutrition lifestyle that works for you is what we're talking about here. But it's within the confines of generally these things like, you know, for the most part, 80% of your diet, you know, you've heard it before, whole food based, right? You might hear terms, organic foods, high in protein, fruits and vegetables always help. Whole grain carbohydrates are, are things that are great for people. A lot of the flexibility happens within some of those things, right? So certain proteins that I like to eat may not be proteins that you like to eat. So you need to find what works for you, okay? Certain vegetables that I like to eat may not be vegetables that you like to eat. So you need to find the vegetables that work for you, okay? If you do a diet, we're all having the same stuff. Okay? You may not like stuff that's in the diet. I may not like stuff in the diet. That's why diets fail over the course of the long haul because you're asked to do things that are a one-size-fits-all uh, situation for people who are all individuals. So everyone's all individuals. So again, within the confines of 80%, 80 to 90% of your diet being quote-unquote really you know, healthy nutrition, that's what's going to give you a really great body okay, and keep you healthy over the long haul, Right, um, you know, you have flexibility within that 80 percent, that 80 to 90 percent, and then usually what most experts say is 10 percent of that can be quote unquote whatever the hell you want, any cheap food, whatever it is. So uh, that's numbers and macronutrition stuff. I'm not going to go in today, but it's important to understand that 
you need flexibility and your nutrition is individual to you, right? So within the proteins, within the vegetables, uh, you know, within the things you're supposed to eat that are good, it's going to be different for me than it's going to be for you. So you have to figure that out. So the big point here is why do diets fail? Because they're asking you to go 0 to 100 miles an hour overnight, and if you're way, way down here, that's going to be a lot to, to muscle up, okay? <laughs> for the four weeks, when you're done, boom, you're going right back, okay? As well as the fact, again, they're, they're cheating the system. They're just pulling stuff out that eventually you put back in, okay? And that's causing people to rebound and rebound even more. So the best approach, the best diet is to start to work your way down here. I have a video about uh, how you get good at building habits. There's multiple habits in, in eating well, right? It's multiple, multiple habits, okay? <laughs> 20, 30, 40, it might be 40 habits that you have to learn. If you're at zero, you've got to start to build those things as you go. But ultimately, you need to build a nutrition lifestyle that's going to support you for the rest of your life and not just the next four weeks, okay, where you think you want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, you might lose that 10 pounds, but if you gain 20 on, on the back end, it wasn't really that effective. And these are some of the reasons why diets fail. Um, but once again, flexibility doesn't mean you can never have stuff that you enjoy. But you have to start to understand what good nutrition is and build habits over the course of time, six months, nine months, 12 months, okay? And that's what's going to be able to help you be able to sustain those things over the long haul, okay? So you can have flexibility, compliance, and adherence is very important, right? So you have to enjoy yourself, but you can't enjoy yourself so much that you're not still improving on an incremental basis, and I hope that makes sense, guys. So the number one diet is one you're going to adhere to. you got to start to understand exactly what is going to put you on the side of really great body, okay, really great health, and then sometimes I'm being flexible in exactly how I create that. Okay, so for example, um, some people like, I don't prep anything, but then I have clients that prep all the time because that works for them. Me personally, it doesn't work for me because I don't necessarily – create the time, but that's all right, I still manage to eat healthy, okay, so it's just an example of things that would be flexible, you know, it's, I've created something that works for me, and my clients create something that works for them, that's flexibility within the plan, there's flexibility within the macronutrition, and there's a little bit of flexibility in what you can enjoy, but everyone has got to move this way, that happens incrementally, you want to think more over, you know, the next couple months, being able to piece these habits in together, then you want to think, the short term, again, if you go on a diet, you have to understand what's going on. They are cheating the system. More than likely, it's going to send you, okay, uh, send you back, okay, and have you rebound in a worse way. You want to be able to develop these habits over time, and of course, understand you have some flexibility to be able to not only enjoy yourself but make it work for you, so you can do it for the rest of your life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more information just like this on exactly how to get ripped, okay. I have a free report for you. It's called Seven Steps to Shredded. You can download that by clicking something over here. I also put it in the link. Mobile device users, head down below. Click that link below. Guys, I'm Frank Daniels. Enjoy your day.